as I said earlier this week, it went down. I'm talking about the 2023 NFL Draft. Our Las Vegas Raiders, they did their thing. And you know who did his dang thing? Jesse Merrick, our resident footballer. He has more on the Raiders in their 2023 Draft. The seven picks in the 2023 NFL Draft. The Las Vegas Raiders select Tyree Wilson, defensive end, Texas Tech. So there you have it. The Raiders stay put at number seven overall and go and snag one of the freakiest edge rushers in this year's NFL draft, going after Tyree Wilson out of Texas Tech, who led all Big 12 defenders with 50 total quarterback pressures last season. I told you he was a freak. He's got the height, the weight, the speed, all those measurables. And get this, his 86-inch wingspan is just one inch shorter than the Greek freak. Yeah, we all know about him. Now, he's been compared to the likes of Miles Garrett and Chandler Jones, but apparently he's had his eye on another Raiders pass rusher. I watched Max. Uh been watching him for a while, you know, he's a he's a great pass rusher, you know, dominant and, you know, a disruptive, a disruptive player that's, you know, going to be relentless all over the field. And, you know, that's where I try to have my game out, be relentless and, you know, disruptive. But he's not just disruptive from one spot. He's done it from multiple spots throughout the defense. And it's that versatility paired with his off the charts measurables that really spoke to the Raiders. We thought that he was extremely versatile. Yeah. Um, so this is a guy who played all across the front. So you can align up with, with Max and Chan, and this guy can still find a role um, to help us rush the quarterback. Um, you know, he's even seen dropping in some, in some clips, so we were excited about that as well. On the flip side, they added some help on offense in the second snag of Notre Dame tight end at Michael Mayer, and since he speedster Trey Tucker later on, and even brought a pocket passer into the fold in Aiden O'Connell, who's the most accurate quarterback in the history of Purdue football. But we're going to stick to the defensive side of things because that's where most of the need is for this team. In the fifth, they got a possible steal in All-American safety Chris Smith, who's pegged as an aggressive coverage guy. Then in the sixth, they nabbed highly productive linebacker Amari Burney from Florida, who led the team in interceptions. But the pick many analysts love on day three, Jacorian Bennett, a versatile corner out of Maryland who ran a blazing 4-3-40 and had a ton of ball production in college, which was a common theme for their defensive picks. Yeah, it was an area we wanted to improve as a team, is just ball disruption. It wasn't, it wasn't a statistical category that we ranked very, ranked very highly in last year. And so, you know, like Jacorian, uh, I think in the last two years he had more plays on the ball than you know, one of the top players in, in college football in terms of making plays on the ball. And so, yeah, guys that can, you know, make, make plays on the football and disrupt the football or disrupt the pocket, which can cause disruptive plays, things of that nature, were some uh, definitely influential factors, especially when you're looking at corners. You're always going to that stat sheet when you're starting to watch a corner and see what their production was or lack of production, of, what the history was there. Um, you have to be careful sometimes because of what they were asked to do in coverage and how they were asked to play, but it is an important factor. So there you have it, guys. The Raiders go very heavy on the defensive side of the ball in this year's draft. Some of you guys may be scratching your head, wondering where the offensive linemen are. Obviously, some people believe they have a need on the right side of their offensive line. Obviously, they feel pretty comfortable with the guys they do have there, but I'll tell you what, they did make a couple signings in terms of the undrafted free agents that they do like and hope maybe some of those guys can come in and compete and maybe they strike gold and land somebody that can be a starter for them. For now, though, Brian, let's get it back to you.